for Captain Falcon, basically it's just like Fox. He's a returning character that debuted on the major home console that Nintendo was looking at at the time, the Super Nintendo. Had F Zero, the original, which was quite a popular game, and fans liked the game in the series at the time, and they continued on with that with F Zero X at the time. Thus, he was almost a shoe in to be included as a character, one of the top choices, probably to be included as a character for the original Smash Brothers. On top, like just, so, basically, he's along the lines of in Fox's category as the returning character and at that time he was still considered new at the time F-Zero was still a new franchise they wanted to include um, Captain Falcon because they wanted to you know advertise his character so they can do more F-Zero games after that Smash Bros game to push him more and that was the, the main reason why Captain Falcon was included and Captain Falcon was one of the original 12 characters then we get to Ness this is going to be this was in essence one of the more random characters at the time I'm putting this in quotations really because um, Earthbound because at that time Earthbound was only released in America and Japan there was no European no Australian release so this was like the only character in the game that was not localized worldwide every other character in the game besides this was localized worldwide but the reason why Ness was included in there is that he is also just like Captain Falcon and Fox, the mo a, a newer character that they probably wanted to publish or so and, and see how popular he got. Like there, maybe they could hopefully have done a future Mother slash Earthbound game localized elsewhere, and maybe even Europe, Australia. And the reason why it was Ness and not Nintendo that was chosen for the original. Super Smash Brothers is because NES was the most recent. Nintendo was on the NES. NES was on Mother 2 slash Earthbound on the Super Nintendo, the system Nintendo was looking at to pick their character from. And since he was the most recent at the time, they picked him. Now he's probably the least known character of the original characters picked for the original Smash Brothers, namely due to the fact that it was a character that was not localized everywhere, but he had enough popularity, I'm assuming mostly in Japan and to an extent even in America, to warrant his inclusion as one of the original 12 characters. And that's the reason why Ness was included. And finally, the 12th character, the last character on the roster, Luigi. Now, the reason why Luigi was included was mainly because of how important he technically is to the Mario game because he's always the second player you can play as in the Mario game. Whenever you're playing with a second player, the second player is always Luigi. And he's important. He's been basically every single Mario game up until that point. And he was. And Mario in this in the original Smash Brothers was one of the two franchises that were the only ones to get more than one rep. The other one being Pokemon because Pokemon made a big impact at that point and Mario is just their most popular mascot, their most popular franchise, so it was pretty obvious that they would pretty much to include two characters, at least more than one character at the time. Luigi making the most sense because he is the second player, and since this is a multiplayer game, it would make sense in that regard. On top of the fact that he was basically in like the Mario Kart 64 on the 64 at the time before that, Super Mario Kart and Super Nintendo, the Mario sports games like Golf, and I'm, I'm sure he was even the Mario, he was in Super Mario World as well. At that time, he had as big of an impact to get into the roster as Mario did. Mario, because he is their main mascot. Luigi, because he's the second to that main mascot because of the two-player option in most Mario games. And that's that. Now, before I'm done with this video, I want to do one last thing. Talk about one last thing about why the roster was the size that it was and why they didn't include a lot of characters that weren't added until later games. Now, Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers on the Nintendo 64 only had 12 characters for the for its game, the, being the original game. The reason why it was only 12 characters is because this was a new idea for Nintendo. 
they did not know if this idea would be that big, and they didn't want to put all their m eggs in one basket, per se, let's say, all their money into one big project putting a ton of characters in there, if they didn't know if fans would like it, or if people would buy it and like the idea. And also, this wasn't originally planned to be a Smash Brothers game to begin with. It was, it was planned to be some kind of fighting game. And they're like, no, let's put, Mar let's put Nintendo characters in there. And then that's what happened, that's how Smash Brothers was created. It was originally going to be just an own new fighting game. But they decided to make it with Nintendo characters. And it was like, a new, like I said, a new idea and they were testing the waters. They were testing it out. So they were saying, okay, let's just include a few characters in here and see how things go. And if it does become popular, we can be making a new game with more characters. And the why they chose the characters they picked, like I said, Smash Brothers 1's character roster was mainly chosen for the all-around most known, most popular Nintendo characters at the time. Except for Ness. Like I said, what I mean by all around is they were universal characters. They were re released in every region. And the only character that does not apply to that logic is Ness. Because he was not released. Earthbound was not released in Europe or Australia. He was the only character in the entire roster that was not released worldwide. But the reason why they picked the characters they picked at the time and didn't go off the wall trying to release, like characters that didn't make it over even to America was because they wanted to have a universally well-known roster of Nintendo's most popular characters. The reason why there was Mario and Captain Falcon and Link and Samus and Donkey Kong and Kirby and all because they everyone knows those characters. At that time those either continued on from the NES or made their debut at Super Nintendo and continued on and the franchises continued and fans knew about those games and knew about those franchises. So that was the main reason why it was there. Just the only one, Ness was just tossed in there as more or less they probably needed a 12th character. And even even though he's not known in Europe or Australia, it was still like they had him known in Japan, they had him known in America, so it was kind of enough to warrant his existence in the game. And that's funny, but like they kept the roster small because they wanted to start off small. It was a new idea. They did not know if it would work or not, and they only wanted to include the most well-known characters at the time, Ness being the odd man out, but still, he was known more so than a lot of Nintendo characters at the time. And other characters could have made sense in this game if they decided to go all out and you know include more characters in the roster. Peach and Bowser, Ganondorf and Zelda, characters like that would have made sense in the first Smash Bros. game. But since they were taking so much limits on the game, they didn't want to make it too big, they held those characters back. And of course they were added in Malie, or future games like Brawl and all that. But they didn't want to overpacked the roster. But there were certain characters out there like Pit or like a Fire Emblem character let's say like Marth that might have made sense at the time because Pit, because those characters were known at the time and still were on the Super Nintendo and Game Boy. But I think the reason why Pit wasn't included was because his main game was on the NES, a system that they weren't really utilizing to get a roster from. And the only game they could have drew from, from the systems that were, they were using to make this roster was the Game Boy. And I don't think the Kid Icarus Game Boy game was as big or as popular as the NES game. And even then, I don't even think at that time Kid Icarus was that popular of a game. So they were like, you know what? We shouldn't include him. He's not as well known as these other characters. Let's hold off on him and see maybe if we can include him in a future game, which obviously they did with Brawl. And let's say like Marth or like a Fire Emblem character. There were like Super Nintendo Fire Emblem games, and I'm sure there was like a probably a Game Boy one as well. They, they had like games there, and Marth could have been included as like the original, or they could have included the character that was from one of those Game Boy and from one of those Super Nintendo games. But they didn't because, like I said, I think they wanted to go for a universally a, a roster that people would know at that time. Fire Emblem still wasn't localized outside of Japan. No one but knew who in the world this character was. So they tried to hold off, and then, of course, Fire Emblem made it into Malik. But um, they were trying to hold off on that. And then there were other small characters that were probably much, pretty much on like, any, like the Super Nintendo or the Game Boy, that could have made it in there as well. But at the time, they were trying to go for universally appeasing rosters. They mainly got the main ones from the Super Nintendo, main ones from the Game Boy, and even main ones from the Nintendo 64. They weren't really looking at the NES, which was the reason why a Fire Emblem or, you know, like Pit 
or you know, Mac Rider or Balloon Fighter or Ice Climbers or any retro characters at the time, which were eventually added in the Lee, were there were be was because they were mainly looking for on the Super Nintendo 64 and Game Boy and, and roster and characters that were more well known and the most popular and characters that were more universally released outside of NES, which was still in America. So it was like a, there was something there, and you know that's about it. And that, and that basically right there completes my thoughts on why certain characters were chosen and why the roster was what it was for the original Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo 64. I hope you guys come back for my next um, one when I look back on the Melee roster and see why they had certain characters chosen, what systems was the Melee roster based off of, and why the limit was what it was. Hope you guys like this video. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to, and have a nice day, and see you guys in the next video.